driller working the brake. This big blue thing here is a, called the draw works. It's basically a giant winch, a cable and pulley system. Right here is the Kelly bushing, which sits inside of the turntable. The turntable spins round and round and turns the, the Kelly, which is that square piece of pipe, is a Kelly, and it turns the drill pipe in the hole. And at the bottom of the drill pipe is the drill bit. And the drill bit turns round and round, and we, we flush uh, drilling fluid down the center of the drill pipe to flush out the cuttings, cool the bit, lubricate it, and uh, cake the inside of the hole for, for integrity. It also holds back the pressure. These are the slips right here. He's about to drop the slips in to hold the pipe. It'll, kind of a wedge. It'll hold the drill string in place while they change the pipe. Whenever we add pipe, it's called making a connection. This is, the next, <clears throat> this is the next piece of pipe that will be uh, put in the hole. Those are called tongs. This is a tong here and the other man has the tong. They're like giant wrenches that grab onto the pipe and twist to break the pipe apart. Chain, uh, the chain also helps to tighten up. Throwing the chain there, as it's called, is a is dangerous. People lose fingers. <laughs> Sometimes a chain can break and hurt people also. We haven't had any accidents out here in, in a while, so I'm very careful. They're out here working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, we've been drilling out here for about 10 days now. They run three eight-hour, they call them towers, which are shifts. This gentleman here is the driller. He's the man in charge up here on the rig floor. Now we're pulling that next piece of pipe up out of the mouse hole and they're gonna move it over there and screw it in. Each piece of pipe is about 31 feet 30 to 31 feet in length. And when they're all screwed in together, it's called the drill string.
that's it. Now they pull, pull the slips out of the little wedge, lower the pipe back in the hole and go back to drilling. The drill pipe is is hollow. There's some uh, that's the ramp. There's the drill pipe. And down through the center of the drill pipe, we pump the drilling fluid or mud. I don't know if you can see up the, you see that black hose, that big black hose. There it goes up there. It's coming down. They're lowering her back in the hole. And there's that, that's called the Kelly bushing. That's the Kelly bushing right there. That's the turntable, it goes round and round, turns the Kelly bushing, which turns the Kelly, which is connected to the drill pipe, and it all turns round and round in the hole, and uh, the drill bit at the bottom cuts the, uh, cuts the hole. And there's that big hose there, mud hose that goes up and pumps the mud, and that's where the mud goes down the center of the uh, drill pipe. We're back to drilling now. Up there in the crow's nest, that's called the fingerboards. Uh, when we're tripping pipe out of the hole, when, when, we're, when we're pulling the pipe out of the hole to change the bit, there's a man that stands up there, the Derrick man, and he, uh, racks, the, he racks the pipe up in those, uh, in those fingerboards. And those, each piece of pipe is called a stand. When they're connected together, there's two or three pieces of pipe called a stand. So he puts those stands in there. When we're done drilling, we'll pull everything out of the hole and this will all be full. This whole floor will be full of drill pipe. Now they're, they're gonna measure, they measure each piece of drill pipe that we put in the hole. There's varying, uh, some of them vary a little bit in their length. And so we're always, measuring each piece of pipe we put in the hole so we know exactly in inches how long each piece of pipe is. Most of them are about 30 and a half feet long. What they'll do next is they'll uh, tie onto a piece of pipe and they'll drag it up and they'll, put it, they'll drag it up and they'll stick it in that hole there. That'll be the next piece. Over here, this is called the dog house. This is the dog house. Pull in the dog house. Lockers. This is our Payson system. This is uh, electronic uh, measures. The length of each piece of pipe, the tally, it's called a pipe tally. Shows the hole depth, bit depth, hook load, weight on bit, rotary, rate of penetration. That's the graph that we usually look at there. And that all goes uh, by sal via satellite to the office, the main office, so we're able to watch from there. Oh, and I have a live video going on the internet. There's a live video. <laughs> Over here we have some drill bits. This is one of the bits we had in earlier, it's a rock bit. And here's a here's a PDC bit we had in the hole earlier, but it got tore up. Yeah, there's a piece missing there and some of these pieces. It stopped it stopped drilling for us, so we had to trip all the pipe out of the hole and get that get that out of there. Put a new one in. Over here are the mud pumps. This is the main mud pump that we're using right now. That's the reserve mud pump. And over there is the actual uh, the mud where the mud is mixed. Over in that area there, they mix the mud up. And we got water. In this tank here is water. And there's water out in the reserve pits and there's water in these tanks. And so it goes in a big circle. It gets mixed in there, mixed up, and it gets pumped via the 
mud pump through that hose there, and it goes up and down, and it comes out here, and it goes to the shale shaker. The shale shaker shakes, and all the heavy particles, all the cuttings and stuff fall out into the pits, and we try to reuse the water. The water drops down back in the tank, and goes that way, and gets mixed, and there's mixers in there. And so it just goes around in a big circle, and it goes back over here, and they mix some more up, and then it gets pumped by the pumps, and goes back around. There's the back side of the draw works. Weight on the bit. Weight indicator. That's a, a pump, mud pump uh, pressure indicator. There, they're pulling up the next piece of pipe, winching it up. That'll be used next time. That's the next one to go in. They'll mark it with a number. Each one is numbered. Those are some heavy collars there. At the bottom of the drill string, you got the drill bit, then these very heavy, they call them heavy collars, that sit on top of the bit to add weight. And then we have some stabilizers that help to ream out the hole. And then you got the drill string attached to it. Here's one of the, I think this was a surface bit that we used to drill the surface case, uh, the surface hole. And then we set surface casing to protect the water table, cement it in, and then we drill drill out through that a smaller hole. That's a 12 and, 12 and a quarter inch hole down to an eight and five eighths inch hole. Over here's the blowout preventer. Very important piece of equipment there, the blowout preventer. If we, uh, if for some reason we lose pressure, pump pressure, and uh, formation pressure takes over, we're in trouble, and uh, that's where the blowout preventer comes in into play and takes over and seals everything off. We actually have a uh, mud engineer that checks the mud, uh, the weight and the viscosity of the mud. As we go deeper, uh, we need a heavier mud weight to hold back the pressure. And so we're always uh, checking the mud to make sure that it's the right thickness, the right viscosity. Because um, we want to lubricate the hole and, and we want the fit to go in and out easily. And protect the hole. And this is the shale shaker here. And all the heavy particles fall off. And the fluid, we're trying to recapture the fluid and reuse the water and the mud, as much the mud. And this is where he checks it. This is where he checks the uh, weight and the viscosity of the mud. And there's a uh, in there's a uh, mixers inside here. There are different compartments. There's mixer. There's a mixer here. It is turning and churning down there deep. All the fluid this way it goes down all the way down there, and then mix it up and pump it back in there, and then it gets sucked up right here to the main pump. If that pump goes down, we go to the reserve pump. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for participating. If you have any questions, want updates, please feel free to give me a call anytime. Thank you very much.